So that covers all you need in McDonough as far as color signals go. Let's move on to position signals. Now, again, position signals, even though this card looks extremely intimidating, there's position signals all over the place here, right? So we've got them here, we've got them here, we've got them all over the place, they're in the cab signals. But when you are taking your test in McDonough for the first two weeks, you're only being tested on those four signals, clear, approach, restricting, and stop. So if you're in the clear section, you're only getting tested on clear. If you look in the approach section down here, Approach. You're only getting tested on approach. In the restricting section, you're only getting tested on restricting. In the stop section, only tested on stop. This is what it's going to look like out there. This is a position signal. More than one bulb can be lit in it because it has to display that particular section. And I'm going to show you a section of the Conrail signals e-learning that they'll actually provide for you when you go through the process. If you memorize these four things, Position signals are cake. They are the easiest thing out there. And also these position signals will show up in your cab as cab signals, which we'll cover next. But let's look at position signals. Now, position signals, let me move this along. All right, so this here, this is a clear position signal. Notice how it looks like the edge of the P, straight up. Clear signals may proceed at authorized speed. It's just the same as the color one. Proceed. Remember this. Anytime it's straight up and down, that position signal is proceed. This is a clear position signal. Okay. Now we're going to move on. This next one. This is approach. And approach, as a reminder, approach is approaching the next signal prepared to stop. If you're exceeding medium speed, which is 30 miles an hour, you need to kick it down to there. So approach. The way you want to remember this is it looks like the left leg of the letter A. Anytime it's facing that direction, it's going to be an approach. Okay, moving on. Stop. Very, very straightforward. Unless this has a number plate on it, then it's a what? If you get just this, anytime you get a horizontal position signal, no matter what it is, no matter what color it is, whether it's yellow, whether it's red, whether it's white, if it is facing this horizontal direction, this is like the top of the letter T in the word stop, this is a stop signal. The only time this isn't a stop signal, if we remember from before, is when it has a number plate on it. If it has a number plate on it, it's what? A restricting, exactly. So let's move on. Restricting, anytime it is facing downward to the right, 